Hey babies, it is Tesh here. And today is October 14th, 2023. We just had the new moon in Libra with the solar eclipse. And as you can see, I have my blockbuster sitting here in front of me. This is what we did on Patreon today for our new moon ritual. So if ever anybody wants to join us, I teach you guys how to make all of the metaphysical products on top of how to do all of the magic that goes with it. I do teach hoodoo and other like varieties, but it's straight magic. And then you can see the how the magic works with all the different varieties. But anyway, let's get over my Patreon. Let's talk about this solar eclipse that we're in for today. Some of you guys may be having nervous breakdowns. <laughs> I don't want to laugh at that, but that's the truth. Like this solar eclipse is so potent that it may put some of you guys into shock emotionally, physically, mentally, um, truly nervous breakdowns. That's, that's the easiest way I can say it. Ner you're trying to restart life or truly follow this path and the universe is not giving you the out that you are used to taking. So you have to do it by yourself. You have to put that grit in. This is more sink or swim energy that's coming through. Even though the new moon is in Libra, um, that access of Aries and Libra is what it's really playing on. So it's affecting Aries, Libras, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, wherever Libra is in your chart, it's affecting you. And wherever Aries is in your chart, it's affecting you. There's also a, a Yod. It's like a little blessing from God happening today. And really, this is also the jump start into you walking with your back straight into your new life, even though it's scary as hell. So just move forward. That's all I can tell you. You have some people, some holding on. Somebody trying to come back into your life, and then you have people holding on to you. And these people don't miss, don't mean you well. I'm gonna be honest, they really don't. So let's get into what are the current circumstances during this eclipse that most of you guys will be going through while watching this video. And then we'll get into why and how we can fix it or what we can do to make it better <laughs> in a real practical sense. So what are the current circumstances for the person watching this video? I know you're going through some type of mental stress because with this eclipse, it's just pushing you to that brink and forcing you to do different in your life. So I know it's hard. So current circumstances for the viewer of this video. Now, everybody has somebody from the past that want them back. So I don't really care about those relationships. We have the, the devil, codependency, feeling attached to something that you're really not attached to, thinking that you are, but you're not. Pull them out in the right order. Four of Cups, the Star, Six of Swords. Ooh. Okay, so your problem, I'm going to take that hard ending because y'all had stopped me. Okay, the problem is you were addicted to overgiving and overdoing and not receiving back. And you've totally taken that power back where now you pour into your own pond and your own pool of love and happiness and joy. And your pond is overflowing. Your your reserve that you have for yourself, the love that you have, the patience that you have, all of the things that you've put the work in to bring yourself to this point, you have worked extremely hard to just pour into you and heal you. Nobody helped you heal. Nobody helped you get to this point and nobody could. This was your job because of whatever karma you built up in a previous lifetime, you had to come back on this earth this lifetime to serve and repay that karma, period. So 
you fixed and healed whatever it was that you were dealing with as far as your emotions, addiction, codependency to other people, feeling like you couldn't survive with others, uh, without others, feeling like you couldn't survive without others' help. You've really found that strength within yourself. And you're at this point in your life, the current circumstances that you're moving forward with this eclipse, without this eclipse, with this eclipse is just going to shut down and close out what's happening in the past. But without this eclipse, you're literally just moving forward in life. You've severed those relationships that were holding you back, that weren't productive in your life, that wasn't bringing you what you thought you deserved in relationships, heart-wise, in all aspects, y'all came from a very difficult point in your life. Like where you are today and where you came from are totally different places. Totally different places. And people around you, friends, lovers, family, everybody was like feasting on your lack of knowledge or your, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like you weren't knowledgeable. You weren't mature with the way you thought things through. You didn't really see people for who they are. You always tried to see things through a higher mind where you always thought people, an immature is the way I'm looking for, way of seeing life. Where, um, I think I've already said that, but that's what I'm trying to say. Like you were immature in the way you saw life. And you thought that every person was good. Or you wanted to believe, even though people were showing you that they were not that way, you went to you went through life just hoping that you could help change and shine some type of light. And you realize, no, the light is for you. The guidance is for you. The blessings are for you. And you had to learn to cultivate that. So now this is you. Instead of this being you from the from the past, this was you. Your current, your this is the current circumstance you're in. You're You've healed and you've gone through this phase of pouring into what wasn't pouring into you. You've done with that. And now you've started pouring into you. <laughs> and your, your, your bucket, your bath, everything is just overflowing for you. Because of the energy and the healing that you've put into you. So where you are, your current circumstances, y'all are just moving forward in life. Like straight up just going forward. You've kicked ass and took numbers. And now, it's time to just live. And why is this happening? Because, you again, you had a lot of people that was just causing you stress. You had to get to this point where you understood your, your value and how you loved and what you brought to the table. And once you understood that value, of what you had and what you brought to the table and you realize that all the gifts that were bestowed upon you were actually your gifts and you were sharing them because of the energy you kept around you, you were sharing them with others. People that didn't even deserve it. So what spirit was doing, they were holding back on your ancestral endowment because you other people weren't supposed to relieve, receive this. So once you clear out that energy and clear out your mind space of allowing that type of energy in your life, you close out that cycle and now a bunch of blessings are coming up your way. Like that cycle is over and you have nothing but blessings coming your way. You're in some type of um, Garden of Eden or something positive should be happening or getting ready to happen in your life just because of the hard work that you did and getting yourself and getting yourself out of this mental state where you were depressed, sad, frustrated, like couldn't sleep, whatever it was where you were just panicking. You're out of that panic. Now it's just to heal and move forward and not allow other people from your past to cause more havoc. So how can you what should you do to move forward and make sure that everything runs smoothly? You need to enjoy the place that you're at in life right now. We have the Nine of Cups, the Ten of Swords. They want you to know the worst of it is over. 
it's like the cycle is fully done. Don't hold up the building trying to hold on to the emotions of what you just went through because it was it was meant for you to go through because you had to clear out that cycle, move forward past those people, places, things, whatever it was, it's over. So let the emotions go and allow the blessings to just reign because that's where you are right now. Like um, allow, I saw this meme today where this guy said, if you, most people want to experience or see something from God first before they have the faith that everything is all good. And spirit is saying, no, I want you to, I want you to feel good first. Like just enjoy the fact of wherever you are, because there's some blessing that just happened to you in your life. There's something that you need to celebrate and they want you to sit in that. I was talking to my patrons the other day and we were talking about Saturn and how Saturn wants you when when Saturn starts bestowing gifts because you've worked for Saturn's gifts it's not like Jupiter's gifts where they're just given to you and then you just sit back and just receive and enjoy and you can you know blow it and think you're going to get it back but Jupiter gives it and you just blow it whereas when Saturn gives it it's long term and you've worked for it it's very much nine of pentacles type of type of environment where you have what you've earned around you. And when you've gotten to that point, Saturn wants you to enjoy it. It's no purpose of doing all the work and getting to this point where you've healed serious trauma and emotional karma and soul wounds is what this was that you healed this lifetime. So they want you to enjoy it. They want you to feel blessed. They want you to feel free because you are. That's really the situation that you are. You're free of whatever this bondage was that you were holding on to and thought that you couldn't live without. Your, the, the cycle is over. Whoever's trying to hold up the building is people from your past because you're not holding up any building. You should be focused on the blessings that have just come into your life. However they came, focus on the blessings. Get into the vibration of waking up every day and expecting miracles to happen in your life because that is where you at, are right now. You also have a past lover coming through. I saw the six of cups. Oh, Lord. And I'm so sick of past lovers. But you do have, here we go again. You do have a lover from the past that you've cut off. Here's the queen of swords with his head on a platter. So this is somebody that you ended a relationship with. They brought you a lot of confusion. They may have been dating other people. You may have thought they were. You may have thought not. But this person, um, they want back in. They're going to reach out to you. If not, have already reached out to you. But they're going to reach out to you. You're going to have an experience with them again. You will have an experience with them again. Now, what is going on with romance real quick? So we have the eight of cups, somebody that you left behind because the light, they were not fulfilling your needs. Same thing with the six of cups here. And they want back in, like I said before, they want to show you that they can do right by you and be in your life. And, and they've been watching you and maybe a Aries, Leo, Sag man. It could be anybody. It could be anybody. Uh, Virgo. All I know is he... It's over and he wants you back. That's really what it is. And you don't want him. This is the two of swords. You're blocking the energy. You're like, oh, no, no. So this is repeating stuff that I've already said for weeks. People always want y'all back. And it is what it is. These people play games with you. You know your self-worth and value now. You know who you are. You have somebody that cherishes you and shows you how they value you as well. So you have no desire to devil back into whatever this is because you got somebody that knows your value, shows you your value. You, you feel it, you see it, you experience it and you know it. And you know what's so crazy is the universe has something wonderful for you with this person that shows you who you are, who you are to them and expresses it. This person here, they just fantasize about what y'all had and wish that they can get you back and they want to, they will reach out to you, but this is all about talk, no action, where you have a person in your life that shows up practically. They show up 
in real life to be with you. And y'all are building a firm foundation and y'all are both mentally together. Like can understand love sexually and emotionally and mentally. It's like a mental cohesiveness that you have with the other person. I don't want to say telepathic communication because that's not what I'm pulling up. It's more of a cohesive peace. Not a lot of drama, not a lot of craziness going on. Virgo. I don't know, but this person thinks that you're with somebody else and he also misses you and wish that he could have you back in his life. You know, his, he's with his siblings and um, family members and all of them are married or in some type of relationship and then he's off to decide like I am single I am this I am that that type of thing that type of thing so that is what I'm seeing let me see if there's any messages from spirit just to see if anything else comes through be assertive No need to worry. So if y'all are worrying, stop it. Like I said before, get into the thought process of being blessed. Let go of the past. It says let go. And just go forward for what you need. There's something that you need to be doing and you need to be very action-oriented, focused on that, and leave the past in the past. Okay? And that thing is being happy. All right, guys. I thank you. I'm going to get off. And let y'all enjoy y'all evening. Happy new moon and solar eclipse in Libra. Happy birthday to all the Libra gang. I'm a Libra as well, Libra sun. So, and I thoroughly enjoyed my birthday the other day. So thank you. I'll see y'all later. Bye. Mm -hmm.